Hey and welcome to Never Enter with Aragon. In this video I'd like to go over the new mount changes that have come to the live server. With these new systems you can upgrade all of your mounts all the way up to Mythic Rarity. On top of this you can add mount collars to your given mounts that are in your stable. First up I would like to mention something very important. The auction house posting fee is currently broken for those of us who have rank 8 and above VIP. Currently you can see rank 8 benefits, no auction house posting fees. If I go to add something to the auction house like this here, you can see it has a posting fee, even though I have fully rank 12 VIP. I'm sure this will be fixed in the near future, but don't go selling things as of right now if you want to benefit from that VIP. So what do we actually get with these new mount changes? Well first up you can claim a free mount pack from the rewards claim agent. This special pack will have all of its contents account bound so doesn't particularly matter which character you claim it on. However you will be able to sell the epic mount collar that you obtain from the choice pack. Within that pack you're basically obtaining a mount upgrade token pack that's 75 mount upgrade tokens the value of these being you need 200 of these tokens to upgrade a legendary mount to mythic and if we look on the zen market here you can see in supplies they are selling mount upgrade packs for only 500 zen for 75 tokens so they are selling the tokens at the same rate as companion tokens so it should be relatively cheap to actually upgrade any mount to a legendary rarity. You can see here it only costs 150 tokens to upgrade an epic mount to legendary. Each of these tokens being worth about 6.6 .6 zen and thus a total of 5000 astral diamonds. And therefore it will only cost you a million AD to upgrade a legendary mount to mythic. However legendary mounts will still retain their cosmetic value as when you upgrade a mount it does not look any different. Now there is a catch in regards to the benefits you gain from mounts in your passive and combat powers. In your combat powers you can see there the griffin which is this piercing screech used to be 15% now it's only 6.7% but this is because my bolster is only 34%. So when I get my bolster all the way up, this should be at 15% again, I believe. With regards to passive bonus, let's say stalwart here, this used to be 50,000. It got reduced and then its potential got buffed up to 60,000. When I get my mount bolster all the way to 100%, the stalwart should give me 60,000 HP. So yes, in fact, this is a nerf and you'll have to pay a considerable amount to upgrade these mounts all the way to get this bolster to 100%. Now over in our stable, you can see these new slots here. These are open slots for these multitude of different collars, which you can obtain one off for free from the pack, which you obtain from the rewards claim agent. Now all of these collars essentially give you utility buffs like AP gain, recharge speed and whatnot, even buffing damage to your daily powers, damage to your encounter powers and damage to your at will powers. You cannot slot the same type of collar more than once so you will have to get a variety of them. I know DPS you will be wanting to get all these damage ones at wills encounters and dailies and then you'll probably be wanting to get like AP gain and uh, either crit severity or recharge speed. If we look over here on the preview server you can see you can upgrade these collars. You can refine the collars using a multitude of different ingredients. The new types of ingredients being shards of empowerment and shards of greater empowerment. If we go to refine, you can see you need those. On top of this, you need insignia powder and marks of potency. These will be seriously expensive to upgrade. On top of this, they only have a 5% chance of success, so you'll be using a whole bunch of preservation wards. Once you upgrade it to mythic value, let's go ahead and do so. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. You can see you now have all the ingredients and We'll just use some preservation wards and see if we get any lucky. 
there we go spent five preservation wards that's seriously insanely lucky but uh, yeah and there we go we now have it on legendary as you can see you can go and refine it all the way to mythic value giving you a total of a five percent increase However, the catch is you have to have a mythic mount to slot a mythic collar. You can see here I'll only be able to slot a legendary collar here for this mount. For this one it will only be able to be a purple one and here it would have to be a blue one. So you'll be wanting to upgrade your certain mounts with these insignia bonuses that you have so you can gain those benefits from those collars. It's going to be an issue for me, especially when, let's say, I switch to, let's say, healer build. I have a whole multitude of different mounts, and some here are missing insignias, but that's beside the point. So I'm going to have to rejig around here, try and get the right insignias, and try and get just the five mounts. But on the other side, you do need ten mounts on Mythic to get this bolster to 100%. Now, to actually upgrade a collar to Mythic, you will need all of these reagents here, including 200 refinement points. You need a hefty amount of insignia power there, 3750. You will need 200 of those shards of empowerment, 100 of the greater shards, and you'll also need 5 marks of potency rank 7, which costs a fair amount. Now, then, you will only have a 1% chance upon upgrade. We'll just use a coal ward there, and there we go, we have it on Mythic, giving a total of a 5% uh, increase to whatever utility stat it's benefiting. Therefore, this one being incoming healing for me. Now, to actually obtain these ingredients, these shards of empowerment, you'll have to be doing dungeons and trials, and hoping you get them to drop at the end chests. I haven't done any yet, so uh, I'm not quite sure on the drop rates of these, but hopefully they're fairly decent. As well as obtaining the mount uh, upgrade tokens from the Zen store, you can also do so from the trade bar store here in the mounts and insignia section one upgrade token will be three trade bars and as i said before one upgrade token is the value of 5000 astral diamonds if you want to get your hands on these more colors nice and quickly you can do so from the zen market with 1000 zen there being 750 astral diamond value or you can obtain them from the auction house but right now the prices are pretty insane there However, they are severely dropping nice and quickly. And they should go to around 800,000. Anyway, all of this is rather a costly endeavor, and I'll just be taking it slowly, figuring out the best methods to do so, and going along. I will probably post out a guide, the best way to yeah, upgrade collars and your mounts, the best way to obtain those tokens, and we'll go from there. Hopefully this was somewhat helpful for you guys and that I may have shed some more light on any questions you may have had. If I presented this well, consider leaving a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.